Hey guys, I'm here today with Pete Davis. He is in the sports business and does some very interesting things with high level business deals, getting creative and just being an all around badass. Pete, my man, for those who don't know you, could you explain a little bit about your journey and your business, just the really quick version of it? Yeah, so very quickly, uh, so what I do is I'm in the sports, entertainment, and lifestyle business. I run an event management company. It's based out of Las Vegas. I'm in Boston. I cover the East Coast part. But what we do is we produce sports and entertainment events, and then we also do like a lot of sponsorship deals, brand activation, all kind of in the general arena of sports, lifestyle, and entertainment because those are all kind of related. So in a very brief nutshell, that's what we do. Epic. What are the challenges you've come into growing this business and just developing yourself? Yeah, so the challenge is, is, you know, it's a business where there's a lot of opportunity, but it definitely takes time to get deals done. One thing I've learned is that you have to be patient. It's a, I tend to get really excited really quickly, uh, but I've learned you've got to be patient. So one of the challenges is being patient and not jumping the gun. Um, the other challenge is, is really kind of making all of the, log the logistics work and making the budget stuff work. When you're doing an event management, it's kind of like chicken and egg because you have to book all of the venues and all of that stuff up front. But you also have to, if it's a public event or we do kind of like a lot of high-end private events, you have to sell um, the tickets or basically sell like the attendee groups. So you kind of have to sell enough of it in advance to meet your deadline in order so you can book the venues before they're booked again. So that's one challenge. That's I would say that's probably our biggest challenge. And then subsidiary to that is really just trying, you know, because we work with a lot of different attendees and work with sponsors and work with partners is really kind of this dance of trying to get everything done and everybody kind of moving forward fairly quickly before everything kind of gets off the rails. Awesome. With that, what habits have you developed along the, the process in this journey that have really attributed to your success? Yeah, so I'd say my biggest habits are is I try to stay really organized. I mean, I'm not like one of those people who's like hyper, hyper organized, but I use a lot of lists. So I use like a little task manager called Todoist, and I basically I have all of my appointments always go into my calendar, and then I get email reminders of them, and then they all go into like a different project for every day, Sunday through Saturday, and then everything I need to do for the next day, I do the night before, I put it in a list, the top whatever three to five things that I need to do that next day are on the top of the list, and the kind of the other things that are, yeah, if I get to them, great. If not, they can be pushed off or down the line. So I always kind of know going into the day what I have to do. And then the other thing I do is I tend to work in spurts because that's kind of how I am. I'm like ADHD. So I'll work for, you know, 20, 30 minutes, an hour, and I'll take a little break, take a little breather, go for a walk, do whatever, and come back because I'm kind of juggling like a lot of different things. Um, so that's really kind of how I do it is try to stay very, very organized. The other thing I do is I keep my – um keep my email very organized, try to clean out my inbox, categorize everything. And then I kind of use like a, a contact manager that really kind of like tracks all my emails and everything related to a specific contact. So I can kind of keep everything. We have so many different balls in the air. I need to be able to kind of look at one thing and get a view of kind of where I am at any given time, what the deal flow has been, what the email chain with that person is, who they're connected with, what my notes are with our conversation. So I try to keep very organized so I can kind of eliminate the busy work up front. Love that. You mentioned how you schedule your days in terms of sprints and the way that you always focus on networking. Can you elaborate a little bit more on those elements? Uh, so you mean like the networking part? Both the networking and how you actually organize your time. Yeah, so in the time part, what I do is, uh, I know I know there's a lot of people who say do your most important stuff first. I don't do my most important stuff first. I do the busy shit that I want to get out of the way first. Um, so it's not like I'll do something, as long as like something, it's usually like a group of tasks, like all your busy work, send out all these emails, do these 10 things that take 30 minutes, an hour. I can't have that hanging over my head because it clutters my head. So I just want it like off my desk and out of my inbox. Then I do like the three or four most important tasks first. If there's something in the day that I like absolutely don't want to do, I get it done because then it's over. I don't have to like think about it. I'm not dreading it the rest of the day. And then one thing I try to do is I try to do something networking every day, whether it's a phone call with someone. I mean, there's, some, there's always something on my calendar every day. Reaching back out to somebody, that's something I'm getting, back, getting better at is um, having a system for doing follow-ups with people I haven't spoken to in a while. Um, connecting with someone on LinkedIn, doing a chat on LinkedIn, or even just going through, you know, Sales Navigator and creating a list of leads. But I'm always trying to do something 
even if it's like one thing, if you do one thing every day for five minutes, by the end of the week, you've done half an hour. And that half an hour can be super valuable. And trust me, if you do it for five minutes a day, one day you're going to do it 10 minutes, and it's going to be 15 minutes, and it's going to be 30, and that 30 minutes is going to be unbelievably valuable. That's epic. What processes do you use in your business that would greatly help you? What pro uh, Can you processes elaborate on that? Systems, processes or systems that are, you're using in your business right now that allow you to achieve the success you have been? Yes, processes that we do, like I said, I like to kind of streamline everything. So one of the things that we do is we're constantly sending out like decks and proposals and ideas and sometimes contracts and NDAs. So everything is on a template. I actually have a few decks I have to do. I had to produce one for a guy like, I think it was like last Thursday night and I'm on the East Coast. He's in the West Coast of the US. And it was like six his time. He's like, can you have this to me tomorrow? It's like nine o'clock my time. I don't want to do it. Uh, but I already had the template done. So it only took me like, 45 minutes. I just kind of plugged everything in. So I try to streamline everything. Um, the other thing I do is I use Google Docs all the time. I record my notes of every conversation I have with everyone. I use a contact manager called Insightly. That was what I was talking about where um, all of my contacts go into that and it fits in with my Mac mail application. And so any email that goes to a contact is tracked in that contact so I can see my string of emails. I can link to all my Google Docs and see my chronology of all the conversations I've had with them. I can tag them. I can link them to other contacts. I can link them to projects and events we have. I can make notes. So it just gives me like really good transparency into everything we're doing. And plus in our company, we do at least once weekly status. The truth is, it's like I joke with my business partner. I talk to him more than his wife. But uh, And the other thing we do is that I'm a very big fan of, because we're actually spread across the country, is super, super clear communication. Over-communicate everything. Um, I want to know everything that's going on in my business. But again, keep it simple, keep it streamlined, keep it open. That's awesome. With your templates, how do you manage them? I'm sorry, with my contacts? The, temp the templates. So you mentioned you have all these templates. What do you use to manage those templates? And um, yeah, so my, my background is and design, yes. So I use, uh, for the templates, I use Keynote and Pages, actually, or sometimes Illustrator. So we have, it's, it's mostly Keynote. So I use those for the templates. And actually, we have, um, and I'll show you something interesting. Since we're on Skype, I'm going to share my screen really quick. Because I'll show you, this is what we actually do for our events. Hold the site up here. So this is our Players' Cup site. This is a site, this is an event we're running this year, our big website. This website is on a WordPress theme. Every event website we have is gonna be off this template. We have another template for some other websites. We change the template. And this is a great way, I'll just kind of unshare my screen, but I just wanted to share that really quick because this is a great way for us to streamline it. So when we have events that we have for to produce, all we got to go, all we got to do is I created the site, but I actually have a programmer in India and we're bringing on probably a, a designer intern. I'll go in and do a couple of things and we can have them fill in everything else. And so we're doing a bunch of event templates. I can put up a site for every one of these in a day. Love that. Totally professional looking site. Pete, if people want to connect with you and learn more about Eventia, what's the best place for them to do that? Uh, so Aventia is, that's our company site. It's AventiaUSA.com, E-V-E-N-T-I-A-U-S-A.com, or they connect with me, they can connect with me personally at realpetedavis.com. Brilliant. Guys, until next time, we'll see you all in the next episode.